I just want to say real quick before we start that I highly recommend everyone I mention this video, and I'll do my best to link all the channels in the description. So recently this Let's Play channel I watch called Oni Plays released a six hour compilation video called Best of Zack, and I watched it. All of it. Zack Hadel is one of the hosts on the channel, along with a lot of other reoccurring guests that are Newgrounds and uh, animation legends from the internet. People like Corey Spazkid, uh, Johnny Utah, and Ding Dong and Julian, who are by far the most popular and frequent reoccurring guests. Other than the host, of course, Chris O'Neill. Uh, who's responsible for some of my favorite content on the internet. So, only please aside, uh, watching this video got me thinking about uh, Let's Plays in general and why I even like watching them. And that's when I started thinking about PewDiePie. And I'm, I'm sure everyone knows who Felix is, so I don't have to explain all that. But I came to the realization that his Let's Plays are the only ones I tend to skip often. Yet I sat down and watched a six hour compilation video from this other channel that's also just playing games and talking. So what's the difference? Uh. In my opinion, I find Let's Plays and commentary videos in general more entertaining when the host isn't relying completely on the game to bring humor out of, but is more relying on his own comedic abilities. There are people on YouTube who are able to just riff the entire video and essentially are doing improv. And at that point, it really doesn't matter what they're playing because they are making me laugh on their own. It's kind of like watching stand-up while the comedian is playing a video game. Examples would be Oni Play, Super Mega, Adam Play, Sinjin Drowning, Max Mofo games, and Game Grumps to an extent. Because some of their videos have me crack up laughing, but sometimes they can be incredibly annoying, especially when they read every single line of dialogue in a game. Just a heads up if you want to start a Let's Play channel, never do that. It's incredible incredibly boring. If your whole video is just reading the dialogue the characters are saying, it's not good. Anyways, PewDiePie has the same problems the Game Grumps have, except it's even worse for him, because at least the Game Grumps are a duo, so when one starts to slack off, the other can back them up. But PewDiePie is completely solo. He only has himself and what he's looking at to be funny. And unfortunately, in my opinion, I just think PewDiePie isn't that funny without something to react to. <laughs> now, I really do love all his other content, but it's because it's edited down to about 15 minutes and only includes the best and funniest parts. But the Let's Plays are often long slogs where nothing happens, there won't be a cut for maybe 15 minutes straight, and it just gets incredibly boring. And it is really weird because this kind of stuff is what made him popular in the first place. I guess if I have to think of a takeaway for this video, uh, the lesson would be if you're doing a Let's Play channel, just don't let yourself grow stale and keep doing the same thing over and over again because the only way to survive on YouTube is to adapt. My second lesson would be never take advice from me. I started a gaming channel in like 2015 and we played one game of Goat Simulator. It got about six views. So, uh, scratch the other advice, just don't take advice from me. That's the lesson. Alright, have a good night, drive safe.